how to calibrate a spreader. There are several reasons why it is important to calibrate your spreader at least once per season. One, the recommendations on a soil test report are made based on soil fertility and for optimal plant performance. Over or under application of fertilizer can negatively impact plant health, vitality, and crop performance. Two, over fertilization has a negative impact on water quality. Excess nitrogen, for example, will leach into the groundwater. Three, without regular calibration of the spreader, it is easy to over apply fertilizer or seed, which increases the amount of money spent resulting in an increase in operational costs and a reduction in net profit. Follow these steps to calibrate your tractor speed. One, place two tall surveying flags in the field where fertilizer or seed will be applied. Tire slippage is a common occurrence and the reason for setting the flags in the designated field instead of just any location. Take a measuring tape and mark out 100 feet between the flags. Two, hook up the spreader to the tractor. Leave the spreader empty. Set the tractor's throttle RPM setting equal to the throttle RPM setting that will be used to make the application. Use a stopwatch to measure the time it takes the tractor to travel the 100 foot distance measured out with the flags. Log the time it takes, then repeat this step to make sure that the time it takes to travel the distance is accurate. It is important to make sure that the same reference point is used when starting and stopping the stopwatch. In our demonstration, the tractor RPM was set to 1300. Return the tractor and spreader to the staging site, preferably a location that has a concrete slab in the event there is spillage to make cleanup easy. Follow these steps to calibrate your spreader. One, remove the spout from the spreader. This will ensure the fertilizer or seed will drop into the bucket instead of being spread. The spout on the spreader in our demonstration has an 18 foot spread. Note, review the spreader manual for the recommended spreader height. According to the instruction manual for our spreader, Reducing the arc of the spread can be achieved by lowering the spout to its lowest setting. This should result in an estimated spread of 6 to 9 meters or 18 to 30 feet depending on the material. This is an ideal size spreader with used for small farm fertilizer applications. 2. Adjust the spreader settings in the hopper by using the regulating bar. In our demonstration, the regulating bar is set to 24. Three, use the hydraulic lift on the tractor to elevate the spreader. Set the container down underneath the spreader spout opening. If possible, place the container on top of a bucket or a sturdy box to raise the height where the container rests. Then lower the spreader down using the hydraulic lift. This ensures that the fertilizer or seed in the hopper will be captured by the bucket. If necessary, place a tarp under the bucket to capture any excess spillage. Four, once in place, have a stopwatch ready. Set the throttle RPM on the tractor to the same speed as before, 1300 for our demonstration. Add the content to the hopper. Make sure everything is in place before the spreader is opened. Start the stopwatch clock as soon as the spreader is opened. Close the hopper as soon as you reach the measured time log in step two. To ensure the hopper is stopped on time, count down the last five seconds to help the tractor operator know when to stop. Five, take the container filled with the content to the weigh station. Transfer the content into a bucket, then zero out the container on the scale so that the weight is not included with the total. Next, transfer the content back into the container. Record the weight. Six, plug the numbers used into the following formula. Pounds per acre equals X pounds per minute times 495 divided by the spread width times miles per hour. 
An example of this, the soil test recommendation for fertilizer in this field equals 476 pounds per acre of 2100. Note, 476 pounds per acre of 2100 contains 100 pounds of actual nitrogen. The spreader is set to apply fertilizer at an 18-foot width. The spout height is 30 inches, the lowest angled arc setting. The regulating bar is set to 24. 495 is the constant used for this calculation. We want to calculate the number of pounds of fertilizer coming out of the spreader. To do this, we must first convert the tractor speed from seconds per 100 feet to miles per hour. Please take a look at the following chart to help you understand how to cross multiply the numbers in the chart. After cross multiplying, you will see that the miles per hour equals 2.5. We tested the time it took for the tractor to travel 100 feet. It took 27.3 seconds. There are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 5,280 feet in a mile. We want the units to end up as miles per hour. Notice how the units cancel out. Now the numbers can be plugged into the equation. 476 pounds per acre equals x pounds times 495 divided by 18 feet times 2.5 miles per hour. x equals 43.3 pounds per minute. Since our goal is to spread only 40.7 pounds per minute, we know that the spreader opening is too big. 43.3 minus 4.7 equals 2.6 pounds per minute. Too much fertilizer is coming out of the opening and it needs to be adjusted so that less fertilizer leaves the spreader. Return to step 5 and readjust the spreader opening using the regulating bar. The goal is to get the amount of fertilizer leaving the spreader as close to 40.7 pounds per minute as possible. Once the spreader is calibrated, you will be ready to apply your fertilizer or seed to the field. We would like to give a special thanks to Bob Filburn, farm manager, and Carlos Perez, agriculture technician at the Ohio State University Muck Crops Research Station in Huron County for their assistance with this demonstration. Music